I mean, who's the best Agadams user on this team? <clears throat> oh, that's tough. You know, believe it or not, I'm actually going to go with Tusk. Okay. You kick somebody out, even if they have BKB, they're out of the fight. That sounds it's like a ridiculous garbage. range. It's a ridiculous range. You can see nice ice shards there from Kyle. Not able to block him in, unfortunately. Paparazzi level 3 right now in this Vengeful Spirit, going for the 2-1. When do you get the, the Vengeance Aura? Honestly, this hero feels like you can skill it any way you want. We got first blood, buddy. Oh. Didn't even... Oh, oh, three getting Chase Fenrir with the glimpse into the kinetic field. We have wide. TP support coming. Will it be enough? Tether is up. And away. Oh, he gets banished in the middle of it. You don't see that very often. He's going to drop as a result. But there's a lasso counter initiation from Complexity. Do they have enough damage to actually do this? I charge onto two. It is a 2v3, though, with Complexity on the back, the back end here. TP support coming in as well. Flame Break will connect on land and not going to be enough damage to actually get the kill this time around, though. Oh, man. If Bat had, like, one more level, it feels like it would have had more damage to, yeah. to kill those heroes. They're no, stuck they're in asking. the Firefly for such a long time. Oh, Ori. He's going to take some balls to the face. Got a couple more on the way. Limp in the meantime. That taking another Astral Prism. This is my tournament. I can see whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Limp in the meantime. <laughs> Getting tethered right. Z Freak still level 4. Again, that Toma not. Is that going to be enough to get him to 6? Gets punched in the air by Kyle. That's gonna be an easy kill as Ori a little bit late to the party to connect field. They still have hole too. Indeed. Complex making plays everywhere. Bottom lane from Kyle. Gets the snowball. Okay, Ori is dealing with a lot of damage. He has to force staff out. That's a newly purchased item for him. TP support again coming in. Lanham in the meantime. Getting harassed by Chessie. See is he you have to force the primal split. Doesn't look like it. We'll walk away safely. And Paparazzi, this is the thing about the Vengeful Spirit that we brought up, that swap, especially during the nighttime, very good initiation possibility, even with the low range. Kyle, taking some damage from Ori, gets out the Ice Shards, gets Slims back into the Snowball. Oh, Here's Black boy. Hole, though, it's going to whip, unfortunately, for Complexity. <laughs> Kyle trying to use as many spells as he can, knowing that he's resigned to his death. So a kill goes the way of Vici. Be good to go. They're going to focus on to this bat right. That's looking to be the third kill for Vici Gaming in this engagement. And that healing ward is doing so much work right now. Super value as Chessie's being chased. Extremely slow, but here comes Z Freak. Only oh, level close. five, not able to use his ultimate. Still not level six yet. So four deaths here for complexity. Make it oh, a full no. team wipe as Vici Gaming. This is the Vengeful Spirit time we were talking about. With that healing ward, they're able to sustain all that damage. Yeah, they have a very fast paced lineup. Juggernaut can always fight with the healing ward. So Saving that in this rune. It's going to be close. He gets banished. I'm not sure if he got He did he got get it. it. So this bomb. So he should be okay unless they have vision. Oh, he just dies. Okay. Yeah, there's a sentry placed on the high ground, so. Oh, oh Ori's going to jump in now. Kyle with the snowball. Not going to stun him for too long. Tries to get the Walrus punch, but it's not going to happen. Ori taking another kill for himself. They're just grouping up way too early for a draw to actually answer. Like the draw ranger, for or, you know, it amps the physical damage of all these ranged heroes, but at the same time, you kind of want good right clickers paired with that, right? Yeah. Jesse's going to take some right clicks. Oh, that's a glimpse coming back as well. This should be enough to take him out. So another kill for Vici. No answer for complexity. The TP's canceled. That's a static storm wasted. So that's Actually something. Actually gets the blink off there. The death timer. There's this high ground. I, it is 19 minutes into oh, the game. Wow, Ori jumps in very aggressively. Of course, has the Aegis for another 40 seconds, so wants to kind of use it here. As long as he doesn't put himself in horrendous position. Oh, Moose stuck in the middle. He needs to get this black hole off of the blade here. He's enough. And the right clicks. That is a dead enigma. Does have buyback though. Or can wait for 50 seconds. But this tower and Rax will fall if he's not going to be able to buy back. Draw range up at if five. You buy back, it's just, it just doesn't change anything, right? And then you just put yourself farther behind. Right. Yeah, there's always that, uh, that potential for sure. Young Lemon getting quite low. We have the lasso initiation, but there's a cyclone from the Brewmaster keeping him in, in tow. And the black hole is going to be used. They've been able to get one kill, but that's just the Aegis, mind you. And the Broodlings don't really care about the black hole at all. And the group up yet again. Ori with the insanity as he clicks on the three heroes. Two dead, though. On the way of Vici Gaming. Obviously, that destroys Kyle. That's just the support. So Complexity will be able to hold here. Can they get more is the question. Ori looks to be next on the list. And Limp continuing the pressure. Oh, the boy. Point. Moo gets glimpsed back. Doesn't have his BKB yet. And you have to think that this is going to be an easy kill for Beachy Gaming again. We do have support on the way, but there's no way. There's no way that's going to happen with Relocate down right now. Yep, 60 seconds, no Enigma, no Tier 3 tower as well. Yeah, and of course Vici knows that he doesn't have buyback because he just used it in the last engagement. So it's going to be a tough hold for Complexity on this mid racks as Young Eleven doesn't have healing ward for 12 seconds, so has to be a little bit careful here. Play Furies for now. 
Lots of damage being applied. Okay. The Astral Imprisonment. Where does he actually show up? He should show up where he got where he last Yeah, so he's gonna be dead. He doesn't be able to get the primal split up in time. So this could be a potential hold here for complexity, but Link getting destroyed by Ori from the rain with that Hurricane Pike. A beautiful jump from the Omni Slash, killing one, two buybacks now for complexity. They'll probably get this melee racks at the very least, if not more. Z3 into the static storm. Down he goes buyback as well. That's just and this looks like the beginning of the end for Complexity in Game 1. Sandy's Eclipse to finish it off. That is a rampage for Ori. Yeah. And, and it might be a rampages. double rampage instead yeah. of the mic. God, oh boy. that is one fat OD. GG well played come out. Complexity losing 23 minutes to each. I was not expecting that bad. I was no, expecting this was... to be a pretty even series overall. Of course, it's only one game. And that's just not happening. Oh, Chessie's getting chased. He's getting an Earthshock off. Fenrir trying to do as much damage as he can. We do have TP support. Fenrir's going to have to shallow grave himself. Lots of damage being applied to Chessie. He will pop to that Caustic Canale. Young Eleven, though, might cost him his life as a result. We'll see if Complexity can clean up. There's a Burrow Strike into the TP. Looks like it'll be successful. And then meanwhile, Kyle Bloodseeker getting so chased. Fast. And yeah, that is a lot of damage. That's a three for nothing across the map. And Vici again getting in. Look at this. Oh, Kyle. Gonna get initiated by Lanham's Thunderclap. Ori's coming in. Kyle attempting a TP out. It's gonna be close, but the last auto attack from Paparazzi is there. He is level 10. And this is a tier one tower for Vici. Tower and a kill. Which is very nice. It's their biggest timing that they yeah, can Yeah, that was kind of a now. double whammy down there. Yeah, have the two for one special. <laughs> Burger King. Why did I say Burger King is the worst? Z Free getting close there. Paparazzi. He's gonna get the blood right off into the rupture. It's gonna connect. He sees the tree. Does he have a calling no blade? He doesn't. He doesn't. He eats the wrong one. And Z Freak will live to see also another day. Eats the wrong one. Land him. <laughs> He'll get the, the four second stun with the thunderclap. Double crits. All right. Land M. Meanwhile, top lane, Vici will be pressuring the tier one. Okay, they're actually trying to defend us on the side of Cole. Heroes are set up and they're coming in. Yeah, well, power's getting pretty low. There's the fortification. Here comes Z Freak. Found the strike onto one. Looks like the final split will be pop. Paparazzi getting quite low, but the epicenter portal strike combination dealing tons of damage and slowing heroes as Paparazzi is continuing to get a chase here. Limp just needs one more Spirit Lance. He's not going to find it. It's too far away. And he's going to get turned on now. Burrow Strike into the Mystic Snake, and that is enough to take him out with ease. As Vici Gaming is trying to turn this around now. Mu on the run. Won't get very far, though. They still need time for their own heroes to come online. Oh, we have the Epicenter Burrow Strike combination. Only going to connect on one, but it's a very important hero. Limp, Doppelganger's away. Young Eleven continuing to chase. Takes a Spirit Lance to the face, and he, oh my god, the Caustic Finale is actually enough. As Limp to go down this mid lane. This tier 2 tower looks to be next. Z Freak, he's jumping in onto four heroes. Not he jumps right back up. <laughs> and that, that's the benefits. Nice. Balance strike onto two into a wall. And Chessie's just going to blow up that dazzle. Thanks to the shallow. Young Eleven thanks to the, so low. the shackle shot. Young Eleven on the run now. Seeing Paparazzi getting stuck inside the wards. Can they finish him off is the question. Wukong's command coming out as well. Not a whole lot of damage to speak. It was a double kill for Chessie on the backside. Paparazzi now on the run with very low HP. Here comes Z Freak again. Not able to connect though. And that might well, they be want him so bad. Alan Strike is online again. Chessie jumped in with that newly picked up Blink Dagger. That is the Aegis. The question is can they get more out of this? Lan M continuing the pressure on to move. Blood Right coming out. Paparazzi gets vacuumed up. A couple more right clicks should suffice, but here oh, comes Medusa's the Mystic back. Snake. Medusa, he's helping out, but it's a two for two. And they do lose that Blood Seeker. Limp barely able to get away. But not with that skill. He's going to be found out here. Yules is there. Looks like the Shallow Graves going to be used on Fenrir. Tressy trying to right click as much as he can on the back. So we have Wukong's command. Medusa. Shackle. Yeah, Medusa is going to get destroyed by Complexity. She died so fast. And they continue the chase here as Ursa is getting controlled by the Brewmaster. He's just going to turn and destroy Fenrir in the meantime. Burrow Strike. They're trying to control that Ursa. He's getting quite low. Sandstorm is there as well. Chessie attempting to run away. Has the Enrage Pop. will fall. Bloodseeker so low. Paparazzi next on the list for Complexity. Huge kill after huge kill for them. They do lose the mid lane, so they saw him running down there. It's very nice. Yeah, it's a 5v4 right now. Sand King. Dead for another 40 seconds. Does have buyback here. Coming another hang too. For the Lord Wukong's command as well. Big blood right coming out. That's a buyback on the Sand King though. Have to keep that in mind if you're complexity. In fact, they might want to back up. As it looks like Mu will fall. First they for only complexity. Lose Mu. This would be yeah, super, this would be super huge. Good. They get a kill. They get a buyback. And they lose one hero. Definitely in favor of complexity. And primal split down, so 
We could potentially just turn this into another fight here pretty soon. Looks like the, the rupture is now applied, though, to the Ursa into an epicenter. That's going to be an easy kill. So not exactly what Complexity was looking for. Could have been a lot of offense here. What happened to Wukong's command in that fight? Did he have to leave the circle? I, I didn't uh, see it. I don't know. He definitely popped it, and then it didn't last very long. Yeah. They were definitely on the retreat. There's some damage being done to the Tier 3. In fact, a lot. As Ori. Looks like Botsuka's going to get Cyclone for now. Kyle, going to take a blood right to the face, but Ori just continue to right-click this Tier 3. Look at that split shot go to work. That is a Tier 3 tower down. Ursa is now online. We'll see how Vici Gaming responds to this. Still cheese available from Medusa. That's fortification. Or the pipe is actually there. My goodness. Siegfried gets blown up completely. They're going to turn around, though. Nice four staff onto Ori, keeping him safe. Oh, Kyle solo in the sun. Atlanta M and company are able to clean him up with ease. That is a second kill. He's going to buy back into the game, though. They need the vacuum into the wall. Either way, to 45. A nice wall. Young 11 looking for a burrow strike. Not able to find it yet. Might apply it to Chessie here pretty soon. Chessie getting kited to a high degree. And this is going to be a free Rax for Vici. I think this is the right play for Complexity to let this go, as long as they don't lose anybody. Burrow strike, though. This could be a dieback onto Kyle. He's not careful. The Yules is there. Primal split pop. Looks like Vici Gaming is committing on this fight. Circle order the place before Kyle drops to the deck. Blood Rite is there as well, but Enrage is going to keep Chessie alive for now. But this Vici Gaming light is just cleaning up Complexity. Triple kill for Paparazzi. And with that fight, you have to think that a second Rax is potentially there. Although, the Tier 2 towers are online, so they might have to back up to that. Or they could go for Tier 3? Tier 4? They want to end this game. Yeah, they want to end this. There's three on the deck. God, this they know Rasta good. has no buyback. This game was so even up until that second motion. Like, if Complexity manages to take that, we still have an even game that probably go on for a really long time. Right. Paparazzi getting pretty low. There's not really any creeps to heal up on. His limp. Trying to defend this. Of course, if Complexity lose, they are out of this tournament. One tier four tower down, the next being pounded upon. Ursa up at 20 seconds. Z Frick's gonna have to pop his Wukong's command. Last ditch effort here for Complexity is Lift. Getting completely focused. Boundless Strike is there. He's gonna buy back on that PL. And the tier four tower still taking damage. It looks like Vici might want to fall back now. As he earned a fight. But of course, there's still the, uh, the Dazzle Shallow oh, This is gonna be a big attempt here for Complexity. Onto the Medusa. Pops the cheese, though, and has full HP as a result and full mana as well. Primal split is pop. Ursa's in addition, and Ursa getting kited, just completely stone gate, double kill for Ori and Paparazzi on top of that. Three dead for Complexity as Vici Gaming looking to finish this game in style. Looks like the PL is next, and the last remaining member of Complexity is Z Freak. And that'll be a complete team wipe, and nobody even harmed on the side of Vici Gaming. Yep, just a complete steamroll in that team fight. They're just way too far behind at this point of the game. GG's are called. Vici Gaming are now secured top four in captain's draft as Complexity will have to go home. Yeah, one playing both teams. You know, the end of the game...